similar to the cat Cleopatra had thousands of years ago, um, but it's bred down to a smaller size. Because people nowadays like their cats small. Back then they liked them a little larger because they used them to like protect stuff. They used to bury, put them in the tombs and bury them in like the pyramids with the pharaohs to protect all the stuff they put in with them. This one here is a um, a Bengal cat. It's an Asian leopard bred down with a domestic cat. It's only second generation, so she's still got a lot of animal instinct left in her. Mm -hmm. Right now she's pretty laid back because she's sleeping. The ones down at the bottom are tenth generation. They um it takes six generations to get a domestic house cat, so tenth generation is good for breeding down larger undomestic cats like wild cats with. This one here is a savannah cat. They take a servo and they breed it down with like a tenth generation or further bangle to bring it down to a smaller size. Normally they're a lot bigger than this one and have more detail. Um, she was the runt of the litter. She was rescued because she was going to be put down because of being a runt. This one here is an Ossa cat. It's an ocelot brought down with a bangle cat. Cool. He is a 17 pound cat, so he's still very good size. Yep. And in here, we have the Italian Bambino. She has the short front legs and the long rear legs. Cool. She's completely hairless, aside from a little bit of peach fuzz on her back in some areas and on her ears. Now the cat in here is what we call the pit bull cat. He's not really part pit bull. He actually was born to two Bambinos, like the female in the cage. Cool. He um, has an extra digit on his fingers <coughs> like a dog would have, and he's got the wider body build. Yeah, like cool. the stubbier feet and everything. He's about twice as wide as she is, so they were going to put him down because they didn't think they could sell him. These are wrinkles. <laughs> now, she was going to be put down because she never came into heat. Uh, the breeders see him as profit, not as something to keep as a cat. So, unfortunately, they put cats that are perfectly fine to sleep just because they're not providing what they want. Now, do they get cold because they have no hair? We have heat lamps on each of the cages. Okay, so they need that? So yes, they yeah. do, the so hairless they do ones. Yeah. Now, this yeah. here, under here is a sphinx. The difference between the sphinx and the bambino is that she has long front legs and she's got a little bit larger of a body build, wider. <laughs> She was a breeder cat and she was kept in the cage less about a third of the size of this her whole entire life until she was 12 years old. Um, they don't believe in putting monies into their animal and they do not give them any attention. Uh, the most attention she had was when they threw in a male cat every so often and they wanted kittens. She's got a cataract on one eye, that's why it looks a little foggy. Well, she used to have a cataract, now mm -hmm. it's over the whole eye, so now you oh, can't fix it. She's blind because they, they never did anything about it. The one up here, oh, it's okay, I didn't mean to jump you. Okay. Oh. Um, she is a, um, a Lynx Point Bengal. She's only second generation, so she has a lot of wildness left in her. I'm not surprised. Um, Considering the generation. She's a Lynx spread down with a Bengal, and so... <laughs> She does get edgy at times. It's the Lynx coming out in her. I mean, when she's all the cage, she is fine, but I guess she feels she's up there and shouldn't be bothering her. This one here is a fuzzy Bambino. They also call her a wheelbarrow cat. She's got little short front legs and long rear legs, full length. Cool. They used to try and call them a cabot. They'd shorten out the tails like they do on the Rottweilers. <laughs> Um, to How sell them for walk? more money. Walk this hop? one does not hop, but the <clears throat> but some of them do. This one walks on them. A lot of people, when they were kittens, would throw them in with rabbits so they could sell them like a half cat, half rabbit. And the mm -hmm. cat would see the rabbit doing it and it would try and mimic it, and that's how they got out of the hop. Yeah. Yeah, this one was always in with cats because she was born to um, a hairless one like the female in there and uh, she was left there until she was seven months old and we took her right before the people would be looking at them to buy them so they didn't because of big slither. This one here is a munchkin cat. She has short legs in the front and rear. 
cool. She was abandoned um, about a year ago and he rescued her from an abandoned house. Well, about six months ago he rescued her <laughs> and she um, was malnourished and she was very dehydrated because the family moved the old lady's stuff out of the house after she died and left the cat there with no water. They winterized it, so I mean there's no water in anything. And um, he took her to the vet on April 5th, and this little guy was in there. She was, actually, it's a she. She was going to be put to sleep. Um, and the guy seen her in there, and he goes, he asked her why she was putting the cat to sleep. She looked perfectly healthy. She said, because the cat was supposed to have been born here, unless it's a shrink. It looks like a Siamese, but it doesn't have the gray all the way up the legs, and it doesn't have the meowing. Ah. Now, he asked her, he said, well, will you hold on to her for seven, until she's seven weeks old, and I'll take her a week early, then no one sees her, and knows that the cat had one with hair, because it's a recessive gene that she ah, got. I see. Now, um, the lady held on to her, and he got her back, got her on the seventh week, as he promised, and nobody ever seen her. Hmm. And he has a deal with the people <clears throat> who he got this one from, and the other one, the one yeah. that they call a cabot. Yeah. That he will not tell anyone where he got them from, so mm -hmm. the breeder don't get a bad name. People get the impression that they cross from with something they weren't supposed to be, even though they are pure. It's just a recessive gene that gives them the hair. I see. Okay. Well, thank you for the information. You're very welcome. And for your patience. Wow, amazing wow. cats, isn't it? I just wanted to show you what I see.